Hey guys, so today I am going to answer the question of our Magic the Gathering cards on the rise again, and I think the answer is yes. So in the US, I live in this great state of Texas. Things are back to normal. People are buying things, people are taking haircuts, people are going shopping without masks. Uh, in the state of Texas, our governor has said it is okay for us not to wear our, it's, you're, at the very least, you won't be fined for not wearing a mask. So yeah, we are back to normal and people are spending money. Uh, the local game st stores are all open. So that's good, you know. And when you talk about uh, economy, uh, whenever there is, after tax season, magic cards in general or any luxury item, if you will, goes up in price. So I was talking to one of my friends, and yes, there is massive amount of job loss. But if you haven't lost your job at this time, which is the majority of people, uh, especially if you work as a developer or work on digital marketing, which is, the, again, the majority of my friends, you are actually benefiting because what what's happening is you're getting, at least you got your stimulus, assuming that you didn't make above a certain amount. The stock market has not been great, but it's been pretty stable as of late. And and most importantly, because you stayed home all this time to work at home, you saved on gas, you probably didn't need a new car, you didn't need to travel, and any money that you would have spent on vacations, meals, I mean, you still have that money. So if you did not go out to eat for the last two months, uh, you probably saved a bunch of money if you cooked at home which is what the majority of people did. So if you are like my friends and I, and you made the same amount of money, but you're spending far less, now you can buy these tangible items. So if you're spending less money on food, uh, if you're spending less, less money on clothing, less money on electronics, well, you can still buy magic cards, right? So I think now that the spending gates are open, you're seeing a increase in the price of magic cards which makes totally logical sense to me um, it's one of these things where just let's just be frank it is what it is right like i wish that and these are good magic cards previous spikes were just on random magic cards and that were not good no one they were just on the reserve list and they were not actually good magic cards but here i would argue these are Pretty solid magic cards. And in terms of playability in EDHs, Grim Monlith, Mana Vault, I mean, they're good. Monlith can't get reprinted. Mana Vault can, but at the same time, it's, you know, you would have to reprint it in one of these. It's, it's just a really powerful card to have in any set, even if it's a modern Horizon set for Legacy, it would still be one of the strongest cards in the game. So yeah, when you talk about uh, when you talk about this, it is very interesting in my opinion because um, you do have people who are in, in every state is different too, right? In Texas, we've been open completely open for a while. Even movie theaters are open right now, if you can believe that. So yeah, uh, I do feel like people are wanting to spend money, and they actually have money to spend. So again, they want to spend money and they have money. That is the exact combination that Wizard of the Coast would really want to see. And when you talk about spending money, uh, or you, you, there's, you can spend money on tangible items or you can spend money on services like restaurant, what I would they say, even though you're eating a tangible item, it's a service business, right? You're paying more money to eat at the restaurant. Those places are still in trouble because even though they're open, they might do delivery only. So people are still, I mean, why pay full price for delivery or takeout when it is the same price to dine in and you get the dining in experience. So as things come back to normal, and I think things are back to normal, in my, in my opinion at least, that's again just my opinion, that things have really returned back to the way they used to be you will see these cards go up because they are they have been plummeting for the last two months and i understand like if it's just a random reserve list card and no one plays it 
yeah, that's not going to, yeah, that was an interesting period in time. It was fun to watch sometimes, but that's not going to work. The cards that will go up in price are the Silver Queens, are the Grim Monoliths, are the Tainted Packs. They don't necessarily have to be on a reserve list, but they do need to see play in EDH. They do actually need to see play. And these recessions, I remember in 2008, I was still at NYU. They benefit people with lots of money. Because let's say that we had a Grim Monlef and the Grim Monlef was 200, but due to the recession, it went down to 125. Well, somebody bought that at 125. And that somebody probably had money to gamble on it. Or maybe they just had money. They just needed it for their ED8 stack and finally it hit a price point which was, you know, attractive to them. Very similar to these dual lands. Uh, yeah, I think they, the bottom has already hit. They're, and that's true for stocks. That's true for dual lands. The bottom was uh, for the S&P 500 was like 162 or something. And now it's back up to, at least of this recording, 180 190 something like oh no not 162 200 242 was the bottom and now it's back to 280 so similar with magic cards grid monolith hit its bottom and then people realize oh my goodness i need this for my new ed8 stack in commander 2020 because like, what deck would not benefit from a grid monolith like, that's just silly right like I don't know. I'm trying to think of a deck that would not want a Grim Monolith in it. I can't really think of any. But also Power Artifact went up. That makes sense because that's the combo of Grim Monolith, right? Or Mana Volt. It combos with both. Sliver Legion. You know, these cards are EDH gold. And the longer I play Mana... Even Mana Drain was at $99 at one time. And now it's back to $174. So when you talk about... Uh, Magic the Gathering, and you talk about uh, it as a financial investment or a tool of that caliber. Uh, the low, the bottom, there's you're not going to be able to buy Magic cards at a lower price, and especially for the classics like the ones that you need in every single EDH deck because people are building EDH, they're still playing at home. My original analysis of this, so I do have two big takeaways I like Revise a lot. Uh, four or five years ago, I did not realize Unlimited had any value because uh, it's not black border, right? So the same arguments people say about Revise, there's too much of it, it's white border. It was the same arguments people use on Unlimited. But look at Unlimited now. Jeez, Unlimited Birds of Paradise is $200. Like, what? <laughs> like, so revised might be a time to get in, especially on obviously um, Wheel of Fortune and Copy Artifact have already spiked, but there are some other cards in it. Even at Uncommon, Mana Vault has spiked. Uh, Demonic has really not yet, but it might. So the reserve list is back, um, but this graph makes a lot more sense than the typical reserve list buyout, which you know again does not make any sense because it it's bad. Here, like this makes a ton of sense to me. Uh, what's going on is these cards are actually played in decks. Therefore, when there's new decks or when there are people have money, because they're not going to get their hair cut, they're not going to dine out as much, they're not going to go to the movie theater, they're not play, uh, buying a plane ticket. You know, one of the most expensive things you can do is go on vacation, right? There's not that many great places to go on vacation. I think in Hawaii, they, were, they will arrest you. They arrested this guy in New York who posted on Instagram, um, you know, of the vacation he was taking. Social clout and all. And he was arrested. So we have a situation where a lot of people have a lot of money. So if you did not get laid off, or even if you got unemployment, supposedly you make more money from unemployment uh, if you got you know laid off from like a restaurant job because they give you an extra six hundred dollars a week, and those restaurant employees don't want to go back to work, and so it's very problematic, right? The government gives you so much money to sit on your ass to do nothing that when you know the big small businesses need to hire again, there's no one to hire because you make less money than when you are furloughed or you're sitting on your ass playing video games. 
because there's really no incentive for people to get back. Again, if you're getting paid more money to stay at home, then of course you have money for Magic of Gathering cards because A, you, you can take a part-time job, you can do something else, right? So I think as long as you had a job during this whole pandemic, now if you don't have a job, okay, that kind of sucks. But maybe you have unemployment paying you. Or maybe you have like a side business. But if you were employed this whole time during the pandemic, I guarantee you, you were spending less money. You're not buying that boat. Where would you take it? You're not getting on that Cancun vacation trip because, again, you would be arrested or to Hawaii. So you have all this extra money, plus everyone got a stimulus check. The large majority of people got a stimulus check, and you got your tax refunds. Yeah, magic cards would go up in price. I mean, it's super logical. Why? Bye, guys.